actually going to be moving into the pole barn finally. Yay. So, I'll just show you our area we're going to be. And it is this area here. So we have it cleared out. I can't wait to see myself what it looks like in the end. I semi can envision what Ian has talked about and John has talked about. So here's the house as of November 2nd. just sitting here working on building out rooms in the garage for us to live in because it's getting too cold for the camper and my hope is that in the next three four days we'll be moved into here You guys have seen the inside of the garage before and we've got you know the entrance coming in this way um, and then we've got these two rooms built out and I threw the clothes rack that was sitting out in the garage I threw that in here we've got the kids room basically I did a real simple real simple two foot on center well I didn't do it John did it but I did a two foot on center um, using less lumber since I don't know what I'm going to do with all this lumber here in the future. Um, but we just did some sheetrock. I put the sheetrock on from the other side so that hopefully the plan is we could nail like a 2 by 10 in between here and put some shelves where we need them. And we've got the bathroom which this wall isn't sheeted yet because I'm waiting to go pick up a bathtub shower. And I thought, instead of trying to get it through the door, why not just leave this wall off? We'll be able to put it right in here and I'll throw those two sheets on. The plan is that the sink will go here and put a mirror above it. And then the kitchen stove that I went and picked up off of Marketplace, this beauty here. The stove, we're just going to bottle feed that. It's a propane stove, so I'm just going to put a 20 pound propane tank to it. That should last all, that should last months at a time with 20 pounds for, for a cook stove. So this stuff is cleared out here. We will still have a spot for me to bring my work van in so that my products that I have in my van don't freeze overnight. This is what I'm putting my family through. Um, kids they they just don't have a choice they just got to go along with whatever mom and dad are doing i got to give a shout out to my wife jana she is amazing she doesn't criticize me she goes along with my crazy stupid ideas and she does it with a smile on her face 99 percent of the time so jana you are amazing. I want to tell everybody how amazing my wife is. She's just she's just wonderful to have in my life. And I can't believe that uh, she goes along with all the crap that I put her through. Um, including this living in a camper to living in a garage. And um, she's she's doing it with a smile on her face. So... I love you, babe. Getting that sheeting done, getting the house wrap done, and things are gonna start to, things are gonna really transform in looks tomorrow. And pretty nice November day. She's in the rig there. See all nice and plasticked up. You can see they're putting it in the window spaces as well. Those do have to be done from the exterior, but wrapping the home right now. So it is just looking amazing in here. 
All the electrical wiring is done. Thank you, Bright Side Electric. All the plumbing, I believe, is complete to this point where it needs to be. Thank you, Rock Solid Plumbing, once again. And we are just so, so very blessed and so very thankful for our framing crew uh, that took over. We just, we can't thank you guys enough for making this possibility that in November we're actually done. Well, we just, we didn't even know what we were gonna do for a while there at the end of the summer. So thank you, thank you guys so much. Everyone. We've got Northern Hideaway Homes here doing our window installation and we also have our spray foamers back. They're doing some interior work. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at what everyone's up to. It is a beautiful but brisk day out here in November. This is our new dwelling. We got two bedrooms here and we've got a bathroom. We got this we got this really cool toilet called a Sani Flow that we picked up at the supply store. Uh, but this is it. This is the Sani Flow toilet. It's got this thing on the back of it that this tank that macerates everything that goes in there and then pumps it out to a tank that we've got outside. But the camper was not gonna do it this winter. We were chewing through a 20 pounder of propane every 24 hours and it wasn't even like really that cold yet. Check this out, you guys. We have got windows in, got six of them in. Um, we have got our frames ordered for our commercially glazed stuff. The nine, there's nine openings uh, that we have commercial windows in. And um, so those are being made right now. Hopefully those will get done sooner than when they're anticipating. I did make a mistake. I ordered them in bronze, dark bronze. And I'm thinking that we want to go black because I thought this was a dark brown, but this is looking more like black to me. So this is the last thing that needs to be spray foam. This is it. Um, this is the underside of the master bedroom, the cantilever. Today, what I'm doing is I'm going through 
and I'm putting if you can see that bolt there and that bolt there um, the floors still had a little bit of deflection in it still had a little movement so I wanted to do everything I could to take that out um, so we've got not only do we got those but then to bridge that seam where there was a gap in the floor I put a two by four in there countersunk some in the metal so that we could screw from up there and it sits flush I'll show you that in a second got our windows ready to go in everything is wrapped on the house and as soon as we get all these holes plugged up we'll be able to turn the heat on in the floor and warm this place up so we can work on it through the winter the box the heated box insulated slash heated box that I made real quick for the pressure tank that's in the house we don't want that to freeze before uh, we get things heated in here um, but that seemed to that seemed to turn out really nice you take three screws off and then this whole front side comes off and well let me show you nice and toasty in there uh actually i don't have it set super warm it doesn't need to be it just needs to be above freezing but this is the pressure tank that obviously for the well um and then i just when the spray foamers were here i said hey could you spray this for me and they said no problem so they sprayed the inside of this i put the two inch sheeting foam sheeting on this um so i could make a door uh, and then I just put a little milk house heater in there and it is, yeah, it feels awesome in there. It's probably 50, 60 degrees in there, which is way more than enough. But uh, this actually back feeds to the shop where we're living. And in that process, I ran a, this yellow gas line. I ran that out to the shop. So we hooked that up to the meter so we have natural gas out in the shop and then we also have um we also ran a as you can see here ran a cat six cable out there for internet so this is my little makeshift internet for the house so to fix this problem with having a gap in the floor um, you know there I've seen a lot of people weld these together and that was my intention was to weld this and I think I had talked about that prior but um, after trying to close this gap up with some ratchet straps and taking two of those heavy-duty straps and ratcheting it and then trying to push on it with the lull um, and almost tearing the house down knocking it out of square and all that other good stuff um, I realized that these containers are not moving so we don't need anything in here especially after putting those bolts in but even before then this floor was not gonna come together no matter what I did because we are welded at the four corners of each container and surprisingly I can't believe how strong this floor is. It's unbelievable. But what we did is I just drilled here. I just drilled a, a pilot hole and then we did a I did a countersink hole with a bit, little bit bigger drill bit. And then from the underside, I screwed up into this to hold this in place while I put these while I put these screws in and Oh man, let me tell you, I don't know if I'm gonna even need to fill anything in there or in, in this gap here. It's, you know, about an eighth inch down lower where the wood is. And I really don't even think I'm gonna even mess with that. I think it, I think that's gonna solve the problem of having that gap there. But that's what I'm gonna do throughout the entire upstairs. There's obviously four containers upstairs and so we've got two 40 foot runs that we need to do um, right now. Yeah, so that's what I'm working on today. Staying warm. We got our first snow last night, so that was kind of cool. It was absolutely gorgeous to wake up to this this morning. And a little 
depressing that okay here we are we're we're in winter and here we go it's been a crazy couple of weeks trying to race against mother nature here so we'll see you soon